My oh my, has it been a while since I've been on my adventure map. Yes, it is this map that has inspired some of the greatest community projects of all time. And where the heck did this door go? Did a zombie break this door? See, you leave the map for a minute and you come back and everything is broken. Well, actually, crazy enough, I, I am going to be updating this map to 1.21, and I have a very good feeling that everything's going to be broken, and that's going to be in the next Avid Adventures episode. But today is not about Avid Adventures, no. Today is about Avid Community Challenge Season 5. What is that sound? It's still going. And I am ridiculously, ridiculously, stupidly excited for this season. Now, some of you have probably already figured out what the theme of this season is going to be. And if you have, then congratulations, go get started. You got like a two minute head start on everybody else. Good luck. But for everybody else who probably you, even you should probably, everyone should probably stick around and listen to this. Avid Community Challenge 5 is going to be heavily inspired by one of the first major projects we finished here on the Avid Adventures world. You see, there is something I love about the Vile Thorn Dungeon. You grab a bit of randomized loot, you put on the loot, you jump into the dungeon, and you slowly level up until you either die. Oh, oh, that's that he hits hard like a tank. If you can survive enough in the dungeon, you can store your gear in these chests and essentially pay it forward on your next run. Or you gear up, get strong enough, buy this thing called a trapped soul, make your way to this crazy room, head through the doors, and take on the curse of Vilethorn Boss. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, in ACC5, we are making roguelikes. So we should probably get out of here and talk about how you're gonna be judged on your, sorry, it's very loud, submissions. Oh, much better. Okay, so for ACC5, this is how you'll be judged. Number one, is your dungeon a roguelike dungeon? Meaning, when the player dies, they must permanently die, and there is some gear or something that they can use to be a little bit stronger or a little bit better the next run. Number two, procedural generation. You will be judged on the quality of how randomized your dungeon is. Is there variability from run to run? Number three, Mechanics. How does the player overcome challenges in your roguelike dungeon? What possible threats exist in this dungeon? Number four, aesthetics. Is your dungeon beautiful? Is it pretty? Do I want to just sit in one of the rooms and have myself a bubble bath? Number five, boss. Your dungeon must have and end with some kind of boss. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but just something that makes the player feel like they overcame some kind of obstacle to win your dungeon. And finally, as always, adherence to Avid Adventures lore. Now that does also include previous ACC challenges, Skyblock Kingdoms, um, and pretty much everything that you can find on my channel. So you know what guys, have fun this time with the lore. It's gonna be a blast just like we had last time. As for when submissions are due, you guys are gonna have two full months to get everything done. And to be fair, it's also around the holidays, and so in case people need to take breaks and rest and things like that, it's kind of important. That means submissions will be due December 31st, 2024, this year. It's the same same year. And I'll be somewhat flexible on the hour and minute and all that, but just get them in on that day. Now, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to message me in my Discord, linked in the description of this video. And guys, honestly, I am so ridiculously excited for this challenge. It's no crazy gimmicks. It's just gonna be some awesome roguelike dungeons. And remember, a dungeon doesn't actually have to be some dark, deep underground labyrinth. There are lots of different interpretations of that. Oh, and one last thing. Um, I am permitting teams of up to two 
players. Now, teams and individual submissions will be judged separately. As for the prizes, there will be two winners selected by the judges, one for the individual submission and one for the teams. There will also be two winners for each of those categories selected by the community, and there will be an Avid's Choice uh, selection as well. For every winner, I will donate $50 to the charity uh, of my choice. Last time we did Gamers Outreach, so we might do the same one. I'm going to feature your submission in a video. You're going to get the ACC winner roll in my Discord, and you'll also get a thousand Adventure Bot artifacts in my Discord. I'm sure you guys will have a bunch more questions, so please head to my Discord, which is linked in the description of this video. There, I will include an FAQ on a bunch of things, like the fact that this is going to be Java only, and restrictions on music that you can use, and other specifics that are just blah, 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 not totally important. Anyways, guys, be on the lookout for a new Avid Adventures video. I'm working on it. It's going to take a while. These take forever, but anyways, I'm, feel I'm here. I'm in the map. I'm doing it. I'm mapping. I'm going to map. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. You're going to be amazing. Let's make some amazing roguelikes. I'll see you there.